Today, I'm gonna to give a close look at a new watch that was released just this year at Watches and Wonders 2022. This is the ProPilot X Caliber 400 by Oris. Now, if you haven't heard of Oris, um, Oris is a watch manufacturer located in Holstein, Switzerland, and they've been making watches since 1904. And one of the great things about Oris, especially in this price crazy watch market, is that they've been focused on creating high value pieces that are far more affordable than their competitors. You know, and while Oris may not have the name recognition of some of the other big Swiss manufacturers, it's really hard to beat the value proposition that they provide. They currently sit sort of in the entry level luxury space, and you can get most of their watches for less than $3,000, which is incredible considering the value and Swiss quality that you get when you buy an Oris watch. All right, so let's look at the watch. The ProPilot X is 39 millimeters in diameter, and it's lug to lug is 47 millimeters, so it's gonna wear really nicely on a wrist no matter what size your wrist is. Um, and it's only 11.8 millimeters high, so this is gonna fit right into the sweet spot for many enthusiasts. It has a rated accuracy of minus three plus five seconds per day, which is within the chronometer certification standards, and it features a 120 hour power reserve Thanks to the Caliber 400 movement, which features a dual barrel design that gives it a lot of power. So this thing is gonna run for almost five days once it's fully wound. Uh, the case and bracelet of this watch is titanium and it has a satin and kind of a brushed finish. So if you're someone who is a big fan of titanium bracelets like I am, this watch is gonna tick all those boxes. It is super light on the wrist, feels great to wear, but if you're someone who thinks that titanium is too light, uh, you're probably gonna wanna look somewhere else for something a little bit more weighty on your wrist. The ProPilot X also has 100 meters of water resistance, so it's great for daily wear, and it comes in three dial colors, gray, blue, and salmon. I today only have the gray and salmon pieces to look at. Uh, the dials themselves are actually printed, um, which for me is kind of a big bummer. Um, we're gonna look at these dials a little bit closer later, but I feel like the dial is really an area where this watch could have been taken to the next level. The bracelet being titanium is incredibly light, feels good on the wrist. Although if you do have a bigger wrist, you might find that you need a couple extra links to make this fit comfortably. Um, they are screw down, so adding links is pretty simple. Uh, unfortunately, there is no micro adjustment on this bracelet which is unfortunate, especially given the price point that this comes in at. Let's talk a little bit about the Caliber 400 movement from Oris and what makes it something special. So Oris as a company has been around since 1904, but normally they've sourced their movements from a third party. That all changed, however, in 2014 when Oris released their first in-house movement, the 110 Caliber. Now, the 110 Caliber was a hand-wound movement, and it was the only in-house movement that was offered by Oris until June of 2021 when they released the Caliber 400 automatic movement. Now, what made this movement notable was the fact that it had a 120-hour power reserve and they combine that with a 10-year warranty and a service interval. So we can kind of see that the Caliber 400 is really designed to be a workhorse, low-maintenance movement for Oris, and so this is no surprise that it's now made its way into the ProPilot line of watches. And as we can see here, the ProPilot X has a display case back, and this movement here is brushed and satin finished. Um, but really, I think this design is somewhat no frills, and it kind of emphasizes the fact that this is intended to be kind of a workhorse movement. As far as other features of this caliber, we have a high magnetic resistance, thanks to the fact that the escapement and pallet fork are actually not made of metal, but are instead made of silicon. And the Caliber 400 also has a frequency of four hertz, so the sweep is nice and smooth. And it's really cool that it's able to combine that high frequency with the five-day power reserve, and that is because of those twin mainspring barrels. So because of those barrels, 
Uh, this watch actually requires quite a bit of manual winding to fully top up. So if you're trying to go from empty to full power on this watch, you're going to have to do double the normal amount of winding that you would do on other watches that are powered by a single mainspring barrel. Now one of the compromises that the Oris engineers had to make with this movement was the automatic rotor. The automatic assembly of this movement does not have a reversing gear, which means that the watch only gets the power from the automatic movement when the rotor spins in a single direction. So when the rotor is spinning the other way, it's not powering the mainspring at all. And what this effectively means is that when you are relying solely on the automatic functionality of this watch to power it, the watch is going to need twice the amount of time to power up its mainsprings. And if you combine this with the fact that we have two mainsprings, well, you can kind of see the problem. So in practice, what this means is that if this is an everyday wear watch for you, you probably aren't going to notice anything out of the ordinary. Uh, but if you pick this up and wear it every couple of days, it's probable that the automatic works is not going to generate enough power to actually top the watch up to full power, effectively reducing the usable power reserve. All right, let's transition over and take a look at these dials. This is obviously in the Pro Pilot line from Oris, so you would expect that these watches would retain at least a little bit of the features that makes a pilot watch a pilot watch. But it seems that Oris has decided to subvert the genre a little bit with these pieces. Um, instead of large Arabic indices, we have incredibly subtle markers. And while there is a small amount of loom applied to the hands, there is no illumination on the dial at all. So as far as nighttime legibility goes, this does not score very high. But let's look past that for now. The texture difference between the gray and the pink dials are a little bit different. The pink dial has a matte and pebbled texture, while the gray dial has almost a shimmering quality to it. Um, and in fact, when the gray watch isn't catching the light, it's actually incredibly dark. Um, and you can see here that when I just hold the gray dial just out of the light, it turns it almost black color. Um, so that's very interesting. There are no applications on this dial. Uh, everything on the face from the indices to the logo is all printed. I think that subverting the expectations uh, when it comes to being a pilot's watch is absolutely fine. And I have no problems with that at all. What I will say is that in my opinion, the design of these dials really just falls flat. This is an almost $5,000 watch. And what we're getting is a printed dial that is rather boring. The pops of color on the salmon is nice, um, but I wish that at this price point, we would be seeing some applied markers or something to make this dial at least a little bit more interesting. So the bracelet, just like the case, is made from titanium and it has this really aggressive and angular link design. And really it wears quite well on the wrist and it may just be the best part of this watch. You see that the way that these links play with the light is really beautiful. And this is a bracelet that I really enjoy wearing. The clasp is secured with a spring-loaded lever, and it does the job how you would expect. The clasp, however, is engraved with the word lift, which I know some people will, of course, absolutely hate. Also something that's disappointing is the fact that there are no micro adjustments on the clasp with the bracelet anywhere. Thankfully, this has screw down pins, so removing and adding links is very simple, but it would be nice to see those micro adjustments. So, what are my final thoughts on the Pro Pilot X? For me, this watch is a mixed bag. The bracelet and the Caliber 400 movement I think are great, and I have very few complaints with those, but I really feel like these dials are just not where they need to be for a watch in this price bracket. These are incredibly generic printed dials, and while up close there might be some pretty texture to them, I think some changes here, some applied markers or applied logos, would have gone a long way towards making this watch something really special. Now, that's just my preference though, because if you really like these dials, then the total package that Oris has put together here is really a great value purchase, especially when you consider the fact that this watch comes with a 10 year warranty and service interval, you are really purchasing a reliable, high value piece with your money. Um, and if you like it, then this is a great watch for you.
And if you like this video and you appreciate this kind of content, would you please consider supporting the channel by subscribing below? It would really mean a lot to me.